Welcome back to the coffee house. I'm the barista. I've got a new one for you today. Adding lightness. What does that mean? Well, Colin Chapman, he, he was a, a thinker, a creator, and he invented the Lotus car, which is a fast and good looking car. Maybe you've got one. <laughs> he was quoted for saying that if you want to add speed, first you have to simplify and then you add lightness. I was always wondering, what does that even mean, adding lightness? I mean, I, I understand it, but how can you add something that's light? The more I've been working in software and with teams, the more this, this idea of adding lightness really seems to resonate. A few years ago, I wrote a, uh, a blurb on a, on a blog. You can see, simplify, then add lightness. And, um, and it's stuck with me over the years. Going back in time, software used to be created in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Complexity was kind of funneling in to the world of software creation. More and more software projects were becoming very burdensome, very complex. And the management that they needed was also kind of growing at a very staggering rate, very complex, adding a lot of overweight processes and policies and schedules, um, very heavy weight methodologies at the time to manage software. So in reaction to that, there were a number of thought leaders back in the 90s, people who were developing software and working with teams that were coming up with more lightweight solutions, how to strip it down, how to make it more reactive. Uh, they ended up getting together in 2001 and creating what was called the Agile Manifesto because they wanted to share these ways that they were uncovering about developing software better and share it with other people. You know, the things like individuals and interactions over processes and tools, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, working software over comprehensive documentation. Don't these sound like light things compared to heavy things? So they were adding lightness. If you consider a, a, a large ship on a body of water, whether it's a, 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 an aircraft carrier on an ocean or a cargo ship on a canal, the more that you'd like it to turn and react, the more resources you need, the more fuel, the more work it takes, the slower that process is. Contrast that to a small ship that's nimble, that's able to change its course rapidly, quickly, on a dime and cheaply for a dime. So adding lightness, the idea of these, these lightweight frameworks and ways of thinking that they talked about. This is the idea of making it so that our organization, our team can pivot quickly and cheaply, running small experiments, delivering just enough, delivering something so that they can get feedback. That's the idea of lightness. I hope that gives you any uh, some ideas, sparks some creativity on your side. Um, if you like this idea, you know, remember we've got the world's smallest tip jar here. So all you have to do is just like or subscribe to our videos, and that helps us out immensely. Uh, you can also, if you're interested, um, perhaps go to our Patreon page, which is right there for you. Um, Patreon.com/slash/agilecoffee. And you could help us out by becoming a member and you'll get access to more videos and content over the years. In fact, depending on your level, you might even see a sweet mug in your future. It'd help us out a lot. Thanks again for coming to the coffee house. We're still in the soft launch, so uh, we're picking up steam. Plenty of places to sit, come back with your friends. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Until next time. Enjoy your coffee with friends. Come back anytime.